Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to the Flora Facebook Live Detox Chat. It's my pleasure to be with you all today. My name is Dana. I am a registered holistic nutritionist. And I am in, I am in the um, product information department here at Flora. So as you may know, Flora is running a fluorescence detox event right now. Many of you are taking fluorescence uh, on your own and detoxing and cleansing, and I'm here to answer your questions. So I'd love to answer your questions. Uh, just type them into the chat for me, and uh, let's get started. see we have a bit of a delay here but so far um, it's a great product thanks hi hi I hope that you all know also that we are giving away some great prizes all you need to do in order to qualify to be entered to win is ask us some questions so if you've used the product before and there's anything that you would like to know more about when it comes to using um, either the fluorescence herbal cleanse or perhaps even the fluorescence seven day purification program or kit, uh, I'd love to tell you more about both. The kit, of course, includes fluorescence. Good morning. Hi, everybody's still hopping on to the chat. Um, so this liquid product of course is a blend of eight herbs and I'm glad that you love the product. I love the product as well. It's one of my favorites. Um, I've been using this uh, on and off for many many years now and uh, I've been in practice for uh, uh, let's see I graduated about 10 years ago from uh, my herbal nutrition um, uh, course and this product is something that I have known about even since uh, prior to that the taste is also good I agree thanks um, so in terms of for menstruation pains actually continually using fluorescence using it as a seasonal detox can help with PMS symptoms just by supporting the liver and in turn um, that helps to regulate our hormones and to alleviate some of the PMS symptoms that you might have. If you have bloating, it can alleviate those as well. Uh, a lot of people who support their liver on an ongoing basis, they find that their PMS symptoms disappear. So continuing to eat um, a healthy diet, one that's got a lot of fruits and vegetables in it, fresh fruits and vegetables are great and uh, a lot of fiber natural sources of fiber in those fruits and vegetables are very good also if you want to try something like we have in the kit which is our Floralax product this is going to help to trap and remove the uh, most common hormonal disruptors are actually the fat soluble toxins and fat soluble toxins can be helped to go out to the toilet um, when you combine them with fiber they can actually um, the fat soluble toxins will be helped in their removal if you have good bile flow good healthy fat intake so don't go on a low fat diet just make sure that the fats that you eat are healthy ones like udo's oil or flax oil and then make sure that you're getting lots of fiber soluble and insoluble fiber will keep things moving and trap those fat soluble toxins in the bile in the toxic loaded bile and take it out to the toilet. Floralax is a laxative product, yes. It's not the, an herbal laxative like Senna which really pro promotes um, strong peristalsis and um, will actually cause a bowel movement but it is a bulk forming laxative so um, this one has a combination of three different ingredients. It has the oat bran, it has the flax fiber, and it actually has psyllium. So um, it's a nice soft uh, laxative. You just want to make sure that you combine it with sufficient water when you take it. Um, and, and you should find that it, it does help to keep, keep you regular while you're on the program, uh, as well as drinking lots of water. Of course, we all want to drink lots of water. So. Uh, let's see we've got some more comments is it acceptable to use for kids mm, 
I would think that with um, parents' discretion, if it's an older child in their teen years, then certainly um, they could benefit from it. But uh, we actually have um, some, some limitations for using this with younger children. You might want to consult with your health care practitioner um, and, and not just um, use this with them uh, without taking a, a, the bigger picture. Uh, into um, into consideration. Usually for kids, uh, just increasing the amount of soft foods that they're eating, maybe stewed fruit, that kind of thing. Um, it's it's a, a simpler approach and it should work uh, very well. If your kids are constipated, often um, we find that they're not drinking enough water, they're nervous, uh, or maybe they're somewhat magnesium deficient. So uh, just a calcium magnesium supplement might, might work a little bit better for them. Uh, what other comments do we have here? Um, so, will any of this help with fibroids and the symptoms? Um, fibroids can cause lots of different symptoms, so it depends, I guess, what symptoms you've got. Um, if you have um, swelling and water retention, this can certainly help with the water retention. Um, the pain of fibroids um, are caused by their actual um, presence. So until they are either removed or start to shrink on their own, um, pain is always possible with fibroids. It's not um, something that the kit was designed or that the fluorescence herbal cleanse was actually designed to treat. It doesn't have any kind of pain relieving uh, qualities. However, um, when you're not constipated, um, and when you're actually having regular, comfortable bowel movements, that can certainly relieve the pressure, um, which can help to relieve the pain of fibroids as well. Um, sometimes those are associated. So let's see here. Um, oh, there, there are more comments. And um, how can I scroll down to see the rest of them? I don't see them all now. Okay. So if floor technical support can help me, oh, there we are. Um, uh, okay, so I've lost some of the comments there, but um, is uh, my family in Mexico told me that flora is good for cancer. Well, um, certainly there um, is a lot of um, history around fluorescence that gets um, people really interested and starts the conversation uh, moving in that direction, but uh, what what we really focus on when it comes to fluorescence, the um, the background into fluorescence and how we know that it works is we know it supports cellular detoxification. We know that it supports uh, removing waste and toxins. And anytime you are removing the waste and toxins and reducing the body burden and supporting what um, in the uh, the health industry. Um, we just call it biotransformation. So when you're facilitating biotransformation um, and the, the technical detoxification of um, substances that are unwanted in the liver, you're giving your body a better chance to return to health. So um, we certainly don't make any um, cancer claims in Canada that, or the US with fluorescence. Um, that wouldn't be um, an ethical thing to do without having any um, clinical proof that it does that and um, it, there's you know there's no um, one product that's going to um, be a cure-all for uh, for everyone but certainly supporting your body um, in the best ways that you can reducing the amount of, of toxic burden is something that appeals to all of us because all of us are um, bombarded by toxins and are at risk of most of the the common degenerative diseases and um, fluorescence is definitely one thing that we can do that is going to improve our chances of just staying healthy in general. So um, let's see, I've got some more comments coming in uh, over here, just gonna take a look. Oh yeah, so if you've already posted a comment and a question, I for some reason am no longer able to scroll down and see them and there are a lot of comments that I can't see. Uh, sorry about that. Let's see, it's just a technical di uh, difficulty. Maybe uh, Flora Tech Support can help me figure it out. Come on. Mm. So 
Sorry folks, just hold on a minute while I refresh the page. Oh, there it is. I see some more comments, so um, here we are. So Julie asks, will this help give me more energy? I always feel sluggish is her comment. Well, Julie, I have to say um, from my personal experience that um, detoxification can um, certainly result in better energy levels when you're done. During the detox, you um, might find that it uh, you feel even more tired than usual if you're like me, but that that can easily be um, handled by continuing to drink lots of water to flush those toxins out, um, continuing to eat well and get enough sleep, maybe even more sleep than, than the usual because a lot of us tend to deprive ourselves of adequate rest. And that when you come out on the other side of the detox, certainly um, better energy levels are, are one of the common results and uh, certainly one of the best things about doing a detox in my opinion. So Rebecca asks, if I'm taking a dose of fluorescence first thing in the morning, should I skip my usual warm water with fresh organic lemon juice? Would that be over detoxing? Actually, great question, Rebecca. When you take a little bit of lemon or any kind of citrus juice, you're slowing down phase one detoxification in the liver. And that's actually, um, although that sounds like we're working against ourselves, is that's actually a great thing. It gives your phase two detoxification time to catch up. And so what that's going to do is minimize the potential for detox headaches and minimize cleansing reactions, things like that fatigue that we were just talking about or um, other types of detox reactions that can be um, sometimes breakouts that you get when you're in the middle of a detox. So um, I would continue to do the warm water and lemon. It's a, it's a great addition to a fluorescence detox. There's no reason that you have to stop doing that. Um, so how long should someone continue the detox process? Terry, yeah, great question. Um, we do recommend that you go through at least one bottle of fluorescence the first time that you try it and um, that's going to you know, if you're taking an average dose, it's going to take you four or five days, like a work week, um, to get through it. But if you want to do seven days, um, you know, and or, or add a second bottle of fluorescence, um, take the fluorescence kit, um, or extend your detox to um, a more significant 21-day detox, or I've heard of people doing 28 days, 40 days. There's nothing in it that's going to deplete you and so there's no reason that you can't go longer. There's no maximum uh, length of the cleanse, really. As long as you're feeling good, um, you can continue to take it. Really, um, fluorescence is a, a fabulous product for people that want to continue to go to work or um, stay home with their kids or do whatever their normal routine is without feeling that it's going to um, impact them in a way that's going to limit their everyday activities. So you can continue to work out you can continue to work, you can continue to go to school, and it shouldn't affect you negatively as long as you ease into the product because um, those with a heavier toxic burden may find that they do get those cleansing reactions um, and those detox reactions. So uh, they may want to um, ensure that they have the time to care for themselves properly in that time. Um, because a lot of us don't often get adequate rest or um, eat as well as we should or drink as much water as we should, this isn't a good time to fall uh, behind in your sleep. This isn't a good time to um, push yourself extra hard. Um, but as long as you're living a moderately healthy lifestyle, you should be able to continue on with your day-to-day -day activities. So let's scroll down to some of these other comments. Um, I hope that answered your question. If anyone isn't sure about my answers, please feel free to just um, ask again and, and I'll uh, get to your questions and, and clarify them if I can. So, um, I have been taking this for two months. How long can I use this? Yeah, great question. So again, Patty, as I was saying, you can use this on a long-term basis without negative effects. 
it does have fluorescence does have in those great eight herbs um, a whole slew of nutritive properties antioxidants a whole array of antioxidants and um, there are phytochemicals and and trace minerals in the product so when you take it you're actually flooding your body with um, a wide array of of plant-based nutrition, um, plant-based uh, nutrients and chemicals um, that are going to help your body and support its health. So um, these natural compounds are um, going to keep you from feeling drained in a long-term cleanse. Uh, with another product, if you're going to do one organ at a time, the, the body burden shifts from each organ to the next in turn and it can leave you feeling depleted and it can actually be depleting it can actually um, if you have a harsh you know a harsh laxative um, effect then you can actually be pulling the nutrients and the minerals out of your body and you can start to have electrolyte imbalances you can start to feel really depleted but um, with fluorescence you can continue it long term and you're going to be cleansing each organ and each cell um, at the same time as you are actually replenishing all of that nutrition so um, that's something that um, you can certainly continue long term you don't there's no uh, time limit on it okay we've got some more comments coming in um, here let's see what do we um, what do I suggest for body ache okay great 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 so um, if you have a body ache that's that's not attributable to your typical um, activities, your workout, um, then I would recommend taking uh, a lot of detoxifying baths during the process, um, maybe with Epsom salts added. Um, there's lots of different great detox baths that you can do for um, you know just just pennies really, and you can find a lot of those. Um, you know all over the internet just do a quick search for them um, certainly when you add back uh, magnesium to the body that can help to relax and soothe their muscles and in combination with a warm bath that's extra um, relaxing um, if the body ache is attributable to a new regime that um, is a workout routine that you just started doing um, since the new year and you're feeling extra sore from that um, Certainly gentle stretching and keeping up with your water intake um, are, are part of it, but if you um, hydrate without putting back the electrolyte minerals, that can certainly um, cause some aches and pains. So make sure that you're, um, that you're keeping your electrolyte minerals um, topped up. So those uh, are mostly going to be sodium chloride, and uh, potassium and to some extent magnesium and calcium as well those are the main electrolyte minerals that you want to make sure that you aren't deficient in to avoid those muscle aches and pains and uh, last but not least i highly recommend msm so msm is a supplement that um, it's not included in the fluorescence kit but it is a great detoxifying uh, compound as well it supplies sulfur um, sulfur you might know is uh, found in pretty large quantities in foods like broccoli and cauliflower, the cruciferous vegetables. That's one reason why they're a lovely um, thing to add to a healthy diet, to include in your everyday diet, but especially when detoxing, because sulfur is used by the liver to help to break down toxins. It's one of the things that it needs to do to um, carry out detoxification, especially the ever important phase two detoxification. So. Um, Thanks for answering. Oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. So yeah, you can certainly um, add more sulfur to your diet with cruciferous vegetables and that helps with detox, but you can also add MSM to your diet to supplement with sulfur and it has this lovely um, effect of relaxing the muscles and re relieving muscle pain as well. So uh, not, I wasn't expecting to talk about that today, but yeah, that's a great, um, MSM is a, is a great thing to add and uh, it can be really helpful if you're starting a workout routine, for sure. So what else do we have here? Um, yeah, okay, great. And um, so Amanda's got a question for me here too. Uh, okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna refresh the page again and see if I've got more questions. 
Have you all started your fluorescence detox? I would love to know if, um, if you're doing it right now. Uh, actually, the whole Flora sales team is currently uh, taking our fluorescence uh, seven day kit. And um, this is a really exciting kit. It's got the fluorescence tea, um, the herbal cleanse that we talked about and the Flora Labs. And it's also got another, um, a booster for the fluorescence called Pro Essence, which um, intensifies the urinary tract antiseptic properties. So let's see here. Ooh, yeah. see your comments again for some reason let's find out why maybe somebody can can help me find the rest of your if I missed your questions I'm sorry I'll see if I can get to them here I can see that there have been 31 comments but I don't think I've answered 31 questions mm. so if I've missed your question uh, so far, then I apologize if you don't mind typing it back into the comments section and I'll catch up and uh, I'll, I'll get back on to them. So, um, hi Mary, you're here to learn more? That's great. Yeah, if there's um, anything in particular that you're, that you're curious about with fluorescence, let me know. It's really easy to take. So one thing that I love about fluorescence is it's easiest ta is to take as enjoying a cup of tea. Honestly, I can I can recreate how you take this. Um, it's quite simple. So when you wake up in the morning, um, it's it's a great time to of course hydrate. That's a great time to have a glass of water. Highly recommend it. Uh, we don't get to drink water during hopefully eight hours of sleep, maybe seven hours of sleep. I hope you're getting at least six and a half hours of sleep. So if you start by adding, um, you know about two ounces of fluorescence to um, a, a measuring cup of some kind or pour it directly into your mug. Then you just add hot water, an equal amount of hot water to your mug. So, you know, you can just basically put two ounces of the water, add that to your mug. And then you can relax, kick back and sip your tea. And we do recommend that you sip your tea. So well, sometimes we get questions, what does that mean? Take your time, sip your tea, how long should it take? Just relax, sit back, and it's it's not gonna be a huge tea that you've got. It's going to be a fairly short tea that you have. But if you relax and savor the taste of the tea, you're gonna benefit the most from it. And the reason for that is that you're going to stimulate through your taste buds your digestive processes. So fluorescence is made with a large amount of burdock root which it has quite a bitter flavor and um, that in, um, in conjunction with the other herbs in the formula are going to stimulate bile production, um, digestive juices such as pancreatic juice and that's going to give you a a better digestion of your breakfast which you're gonna have in 15 minutes to half an hour after enjoying your fluorescence and it's going to get um, more nutrition out of the food that you're eating because you're going to digest it better you're going to break it down more completely breaking down your food more completely in turn can also lead to fewer allergic responses and less inflammation so if autoimmunity or um, allergies or digestive issues are something that you struggle with, then I highly recommend taking the extra minute or two to savor your fluorescence tea, to really taste it and um, not to mix it with anything else so that you can really, so that the flavor really comes across for you. So are there any other questions for me right now? Okay, so for those of you that have been taking the product uh, ongoing for a while, you might have noticed that you're sleeping better now, that you have a greater sense of well-being. Maybe you've gotten past any possible cleansing reactions that you had at the outset and you're just feeling great. Um, your skin is nice and clear, your energy is good. If you have the patience to um, 
you know, type in or, you know, right now some of the things that you've experienced. If you have the opportunity or the chance, if you're not at work right now, and you can share some of those um, experiences with others who are just starting off on the cleanse, they probably really appreciate that. Um, we can also um, recommend to you some things to eat or not to eat while you're taking fluorescence. So a lot of the time we just say, you know, eat healthy. And I have already mentioned, you know, making sure that you get enough fruit and vegetables in your diet. You want to make sure that you have optimum levels of fiber and water uh, on an ongoing basis. And we actually recommend a few things. This is included in the fluorescence kit. Um, you'll actually get a, a cute color booklet with the fluorescence kit and it will recommend certain foods that you can eat and um, a lot of them are going to be you know probably what you would expect a, a lot of fresh fruit i highly recommend that you make your fruit seasonally appropriate so if you have um, local to you apples and pears and berries i would stick with those if you're somewhere a little bit warmer and you also have oranges and um, maybe apricots, then, then certainly go with those as well. Um, beans can be part of your um, eating program, as can even uh, organic meats, if meat is a part of your normal um, lifestyle. Some people say, do we have to stop eating meat? Um, I highly recommend though that if you're going to eat from the top of the food chain that you make sure that you go as natural as possible. Try to go organic, grass-fed, pastured, and ethically raised uh, for sure. And it goes uh, for the fish as well. Go for the smallest fish that you um, can enjoy eating and um, try to make sure that that is wild, not farmed, and uh, lower uh, on the list of um, contamination risk. The reason that um, you know we would say that it's okay to continue to eat a meat or fish if that's a part of your everyday diet is that keeping your protein levels up while you are going through any kind of detox really helps the liver to uh, carry out its detoxification processes. Of course, it's not just the liver that's working here. This is an incredible support for the kidneys. It helps um, to cleanse uh, via the lymph, the skin, the lungs, um, the bowel, so it's a really a complete body detox. But when it comes to diet and when it comes to what you're eating, it's not a great time to put the pressure on yourself to completely you know, eat um, in a different way. If you want to do it and you're ready to do it and you want to eat um, you know, several days a week vegetarian or if you're vegetarian and you want to try to be vegan, um, you know, going a step or two past where you are now towards a clean diet is great. Just don't bite off more than you can chew. Um, that's a bit of a pun, but um, try and keep it within um, a level that's comfortable for you so that you can succeed because feeling good about what you're doing is um, really a, a lot better of an encouragement to do it again or to keep going. Um, so try and include a few more uh, vegetables from the green end of the spectrum. So move away from the starchiest vegetables like potatoes and yams and move uh, towards the less starchy vegetables like more broccoli and those other cruciferous vegetables that we were talking about before. Um, certainly anything that's in season right now that's orange is really good. So if you want to eat um, you know, squash, if you want to eat cantaloupe, um, if that's available right now, um, that's really good. Any of the orange and red vegetables and fruits are going to add even more um, carotenoids and that's going to help um, and make you feel better and, and improve the glow from your skin and um, again those those uh, high fiber foods are, are highly recommended so someone today is going to win a $50 Whole Foods gift card in case uh, you did not know. Everyone here who has commented today or asked a question will be entered to win. And in addition, which you might not know, we have a surprise gift. We are also going to be giving away one of these fantastic seven day kits, which I told you that um, all of our sales staff are, um, are, are completing the kit right now. It's really an easy way to approach a detox. You can keep going in your everyday life. Simply sip some tea in the morning 
and then 15 minutes later you can take your proessence capsules and then 15 minutes after that have breakfast. You can have a normal day, exercise like you normally would, um, work or um, you know, do whatever you normally do, drink water during the day of course and um, take the time to breathe and to enjoy your day. And at the end of the day, prior to the last meal of the day, you can um, have another dose of fluorescence and um, take your proessence capsules again. Uh, you can mix the Floralax into some of those glasses of water during the day, and that will help enormously to contribute to regularity and, again, removing, trapping all of those um, those loosened toxics um, and bringing those out of the body. So um, it's a really nice way to approach a detox. And like I was saying, it's got that lovely uh, menu plan in there and a lot of great recipes. So, oh, I've got a question. Oh no, I've got a comment. So we've actually got a winner for the gift card. Oh, this is great. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Mary Gavlik. Um, Mary Gavlik, you said you were here to learn more, so uh, congratulations. You've actually got, um, you've won yourself a Whole Foods $50 gift card. Congratulations. Oh, all right. Um, oh, and Terry David. You won the kit. Okay, congratulations, Terry. Congratulations. So that's that's excellent. Um, if you'd like to know more about it while I'm on the chat, feel free to ask me your questions. Uh, if yeah, if you haven't used it before, I'm sure you're really going to like it. It's uh, a lovely way to uh, to use the fluorescence. So uh, anytime that you can add uh, water-rich or colorful foods to your diet while you're doing fluorescence, more the better. But you don't really have to change your diet, is what I was trying to get at um, earlier. Um, you know, glowing skin is a plus, Sarah. Absolutely, I agree. So. Um, I find the first little while after a detox, of course, uh, during the holidays, I was eating and drinking very differently from normal. And um, a day of fatigue, like uh, sh I had a bit of a day of fatigue yesterday while I was at work, but um, that's that can be normal. And um, some breakouts can be normal, but you'll find, um, you know, a, a week from from the beginning of a cleanse, you'll probably feel. Um, way more lively and yeah and yeah glowing skin is is definitely a plus so um yeah thank you okay great i love your comment yeah okay oh you're gonna watch the whole video later oh yeah well thanks for tuning in while you could uh glad that you checked in don yeah yeah thanks for joining us so I really appreciate all of you joining us here on the uh, fluorescence detox chat. While I have you here, I'm going to let you know a little bit more about Flora. So we actually make all of the fluorescence products right here. This is also where we, um, you know, receive your comments and take all of your questions on a day-to-day -day basis. You can call the product information department. Has um, you know a lot of people that are excited to share information with you all the time. I'm going to tell you a bit about um, one of the products that you might not know that we have which is called fluorescence dry herbal tea blend. So you can actually um, make fluorescence at home if you want to try it from these herbal pouches. Each box has three pouches in it. So uh, this one you would actually take the pouches home and you would try to prepare this yourself just um, on your kitchen stove. So it's um, you know a fun thing to try if you want to use fluorescence on an ongoing basis. You can make bottles of fluorescence at home, and uh, it, it it is it's fun. So you you know might want to give that a try. See if the store near you actually uh, carries our dry herb tea blend. If you are not quite ready to try making it at home, the one that we prepare here, um, we've got some fantastic high-tech enormous machines that we use to extract all of the goodness out of the herbs. There are, as I say, eight fantastic herbs in fluorescence. And uh, one of the major ingredients in here is the burdock root. Like I was saying before, 
It's a really bitter tasting, very fibrous root. Um, sometimes it's used in cuisine, so you might have eaten it in salad at a Japanese uh, restaurant. You might try gobo, that is uh, actually burdock. But most of the time you're not gonna uh, find this in um, North American kitchens uh, or you know most of the stores that you visit. It is, um, however, uh, very nutritive and, high, and it's got a lot of great medicinal qualities. This one can actually um, be a good addition for anyone that wants to improve their digestion. And it can also be something that will uh, help you to alleviate uh, a lot of the sort of sluggishness that um, can uh, produce more toxic buildup in the body. So uh, it, other ingredients that are in here are the slippery elm bark. Slippery elm is something that helps to coat and soothe the digestive tract. It's got some lovely mucilaginous, uh, mucilaginous properties to it. So you might notice that if you do try and prepare the fluorescence at home from the kit that, um, that I was mentioning, the one that's back there on the shelf, that it's um, a lot thicker than the one that we make for you here. So the one that we make for you here, we do actually uh, strain all of the um, herbal sediment out and what you're left with is um, a very clear and light tasting uh, drink. But when you make it at home, sometimes it becomes a bit thicker and that is mucilage. So mucilage is found in both the burdock and the slippery elm and creates a kind of a thicker um, jelly-like consistency. If you make it at home, don't be afraid of uh, that stuff. It's actually quite healing to the gut and um, also helps to heal and promote regularity through the, the digestive tract. So um, it's a good kind of, uh, of a sediment or ingredient to have. So um, in addition to that, fluorescence is very unique in terms of its composition. We have four herbs included in the formula that you won't find in other formulas. And uh, we like them because in addition to the four major, um, like the, the, the burdock and the, the sheep sorrel, the slippery elm, and the uh, rhubarb root, you've also got blessed thistle. Um, so blessed thistle is um, in the same family as milk thistle, which is maybe its better known cousin. And just like milk thistle, which some of you are familiar with, a blessed thistle is very liver supportive. And I was talking a lot about the liver before. The liver is indeed the, um, one of the, the heavy lifters when it comes to detoxification in the body, the others being the kidneys. The kidneys actually filter up to 33 gallons of fluid every day and everything that goes through our body will at some point basically encounter the kidneys and hopefully we're um, using them to our best advantage and they're not overloaded. When they do become overloaded that can be um, cause of all kinds of um, fluid disturbances in the body um, on top of lots of other issues. But the liver in particular gets support by um, the blessed thistle in this product. And um, we also have some incredible herbs in the, uh, the Proessence kit, including um, you'll find that in the, um, in the kit, in the Proessence uh, capsules that are included in the kit, you also have some of the burdock and slippery elm. And um, so we're um, going to reinforce the action of the burdock and slippery elm and the fluorescence. And it's going to be combined with um, three other herbs as well. So the proessence capsules have five herbs in total and the fluorescence have eight. Um, so three of the herbs in the proessence capsules are not found at all in the fluorescence liquid. I'll talk about those a little more in just a moment. Uh, for the time being, returning back to the fluorescence formula, um, this has got watercress, which is an absolutely fabulous, nutritive uh, food plant. If it's not a part of your diet, I highly recommend adding some watercress to your diet. 
It certainly makes its way into uh, Chinese cuisine. Sometimes you'll find it in Central American cuisine. It's really been um, discovered, if you will, in the last few years um, and, and actually recognized as a superfood. Um, it is the top most nutritious food of um, really most of those that we've uh, been able to discover. And why it's important to include something like that in a fluorescence is that you're, you're going to utilize um, as many nutrients as possible when cleansing. You're going to utilize those trace minerals that are found in the, um, in the watercress and you're gonna benefit from that um, because you're, it's going to facilitate better the removal of those toxic products from your body. Um, watercress is actually really helpful for pulling out the heavy metals that we want to help to remove and chelate from the body as well. So that's a really, a really, really great addition that I'm super happy is included in the fluorescence formula. Um, along with the kelp, those two are really um, going to help with removal of heavy metals, which I think are um, quite a problem for, uh, for a lot of us. Um, there's a comment from Patty. She wants to know where she can buy the other products. Yeah, um, definitely you have, um, yeah, you only have the bottle. Yeah, no problem. So you can certainly look at Vitamin Shop. That's a good suggestion. There are a lot of stores that carry our products, including um, the large ones, like you mentioned, uh, Vitamin Shop and Whole Foods and other large products. If you're in um, California, all the sprouts have them, you know, Mother's, we don't, um, you know, we don't mind if you go to our website, florahealth.com, and hop on the find a store function. You can just tap in your zip code and it will come up with all the stores that are um, close to you that have accounts with us and that carry our products. Um, you can certainly look at any of those stores, give them a call, see if they have it. If, if they don't already carry the kit, maybe they'll bring it in for you. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can certainly, you can try any of the online stores listed there as well, and you can order the product through those online stores as well. There's distribution through them. So, um, oh, okay. What's that? Oh, very good. Okay, so I'm just reading some more comments, and um, there are definitely some that I've missed, but that's okay. I guess um, if you want if you want to try again, mm, I will find out what what more there is. Okay, so um, I'm going to continue telling you a little bit more about how the fluorescence works. So when you take fluorescence, you're actually giving your body the opportunity to um, function at, at a higher level to remove the toxic compounds that it wants to remove. So what our kidneys um, get from taking this, actually there are some diuretic properties in the formula, so that means that they're going to actually function better to um, remove more waste products. Of course, that's going to increase the amount of um, times that we need to urinate during the day, so I do recommend that you replace that water by staying hydrated, so um, keep your water with you at all times um, if you can. It also, um, that's a good reason why you might want to not double up your dose right before bed because it might make you have to get up in the middle of the night. Um, in addition to that, you'll find that there are some gentle laxative properties to the formula. It's nothing that should cause any kind of emergency. You shouldn't have to run to the bathroom at any point when you're doing a cleanse with fluorescence. It should just flood your body with nutrients and be a very gentle and comfortable process for the most part. Uh, however, it will encourage proper um, proper digestion and regularity. So you will find that if things are normally a bit sluggish, it should actually help to improve that. And refresh one more time. So in addition to the um, the herbs that I've already talked about a little bit, there are um, also red clover flowers included here. And um, red clover is, it's been used traditionally for um, many, many years as an alterative and um, a balancer. It's going to affect um, and get into the cells at the cellular level. You're going to be able to um, more likely in eliminate 
cells that are um, unhealthy and that will um, give an overall better um, a chance to your body to um, exhibit symptoms of health uh, as opposed to symptoms of, of illness. Uh, when you are also combining that in synergy with the other ingredients, that's when you the real magic happens. So I'm going to take my own advice and have some water. So when you get the synergistic effect of the eight great herbs together, that's when you get the real magic. Um, when I first uh, heard about fluorescence about 20 years ago, and I heard that it was really gentle. I wasn't sure what that meant, and I thought maybe that that meant that it would be less effective than other products. Um, as my understanding grew, what I came to understand is that it's going to not stress the body because it's working at the cellular level so that you're avoiding the toxic buildup um, and you're avoiding the stress at the cellular level, and it's going to actually still be in a really effective cleanse uh, without causing you all of the side effects that can really accompany um, harsher cleanses that are done in a different way. Um, part of the reason that I think that it works so well is um, the combination of these eight herbs in the exact proportion that they're in extracted the way that we do. So um, going to visit our, uh, our, our production area is a real treat because it's this immaculate area with huge machines that um, we've actually got some really new equipment that um, is specialized for the making of fluorescence. What we actually find is that um, the ones that are flowers and the aerial parts, they do need to be treated ge more gently um, to extract them to the best advantage. So to get all of the active ingredients out, we will steam the flower tops and we will actually keep them enclosed so that all of the goodness doesn't evaporate and we keep it in the formula. Whereas for some of the tougher roots, some of the burdock root and the other roots that are in there, there's a lot of roots in there, um, those actually get uh, a high, uh, high heat, uh, longer extraction process, and um, in, they're in this like, uh, great, great big kettle that we have, which actually will um, get all of the goodness out of the roots, but will treat them a little bit tougher than the way that we treat the flowers. Okay, what do we have here? What is good to relax and not have a lot of stress? Megan, that's going to be something that's unique to you. Possibly asking for more support from those in your life. I know that that's not always the easiest thing for us to do. Uh, maybe not taking the stress on in the first place and saying no and learning to completely love and accept yourself while saying no. Uh, it's going to be different for all of us. I find in my life that yoga is a really great practice partly because I've got a combination of the physical activity and the meditation but probably overall because it's focused on breathing. As you can tell, as I power through this chat and uh, you know, hardly stop to take a breath, that's one of my big challenges is just to stop and breathe. So, you know, having a moment to yourself to to breathe and to um, focus on the things and and reflect on the things that you're grateful for certainly will increase your level of happiness and can quite possibly reduce your stress. I find that going for <clears throat> a little walk in the middle of the day is um, extremely beneficial. Of course, Flora is located in a beautiful location or right on the river and I get to uh, go for a walk along the river so I'm quite lucky that way but any kind of short walk to break up your sitting if you do a lot of sitting is actually going to reduce the stress on your body. Um, there's quite a movement right now as well to focus on sleep and I think it's long overdue. I feel that go, go, go um, can make us feel really productive but it can be depleting after uh, you know several years or even several months even after several weeks of doing that. So 
I think that getting enough sleep on a regular basis is really important. And if it means leaving things, accepting that you're leaving them and, and going to bed without folding the laundry or doing whatever it is that you had planned to do, um, just do that. And if it means that you skip your TV show, maybe that's what you have to do too. I think getting, getting to sleep is really important. So yoga is really great. Lori, I know, isn't it? I actually, I get up and uh, I get up at five just so that I can do yoga in the morning and I do hot yoga. So that actually brings me to a really interesting point, which is that I've spoken to a few people that when they're doing a fluorescence cleanse and they're doing hot yoga, that they, they find that they're a little bit woo. Um, I guess what that probably means is that we're removing so much water from our body and um, because you know we're sweating all the time and removing so much water normally doing hot yoga that when you're doing any kind of cleansing with a diuretics like you'll find in fluorescence or like you'll find in the proessence capsules in the seven day kit that you need to take that extra care to make sure you're putting the electrolytes back in. So I'll actually take an electrolyte product if I need to, um, or I'll just make sure that I'm, you know, instead of just taking water after my hot yoga practice, I'll take a smoothie that has banana in it for the potassium and I'll take, you know, I'll make sure I'm getting the extra minerals during the day and that can really help. I mean, salt those greens, cook your greens and salt the greens in the winter, a little bit of extra salt on your food in the winter. Um, it, it might just be what you need to feel like your energy levels are back up. Don't, don't be too, too afraid of salting your, especially your green and high potassium vegetables in the winter. So that's awesome that you're on the river. I know, isn't it? Yeah, we're really lucky here. We are actually um, located in an area with beautiful woods. We have some great birds in the trees. There are beavers that occasionally make dams nearby. And uh, we often see herons and other really majestic, majestic creatures. Um, during a walk with one of my coworkers on lunch, we actually saw a fox before. So that was pretty cool. I think they're really neat. Uh, <laughs> Thoughts on Bikram while on the whole 30, too much or just enough? I think the whole 30 is, that's up to you if that's um, something that you would like to uh, follow. I think when it's been assessed by health professionals, nutrition professionals, dietitians, those kinds of things, it hasn't gotten really the, the greatest marks. It's not a super... Um, it's it's not a super well accepted program to be quite honest with you that's the whole 30 that we're talking about also um although i do hot yoga it's not actually like a, a true bikram practice that i follow um follow something that you find uh, suits you um in particular for me um having a bit of flexibility in my diet and having a bit of flexibility in my exercise practice feels the best for me um, I don't believe in rigidity, so although I certainly um, aim to eat a more plant-based diet, although I do aim to, uh, you know, follow an exercise practice that is um, that lends some structure to to my life, uh, I don't I don't think that um, giving yourself a lot of rules about uh, what you're doing. Um, is the best way to support your health because you have to be ready to um, to change what you're doing when you get feedback from your body. Um, if the feedback from your body says rest, I think resting is the best thing. If your feedback from your body says that you need to get, um, you know, a different a different kind of food, um, then I think that sometimes it is good to listen to your body. Sure, it's a fine line between cravings. And, and uh, nutritional needs, but um, the more you tune into your body, the more you get used to uh, differentiating the two. And if you're making sure that you're not eating a highly refined, high sugar diet, um, and you're avoiding the extreme foods, you're probably not gonna have as many cravings, and you're probably just gonna have more um, true food um, urges. So I hope that answers your question, um, Michael. So yeah, I hope so. Yeah, Lori, do you also practice yoga? I'm wondering, are you are you trying to do this right now, Michael? Bikram and Whole Thirty. Um, in terms of too much or just enough, uh, I think any time that you return to um, a, a, a whole foods way of eating, that's a good thing. 
I definitely agree that um, more real food um, is is the way to go, and and unrefined, unprocessed, um, you know, as clean as possible, organic, absolutely, a hundred percent. When it comes to um, Bikram and detoxing of any kind, which um, detox reactions can happen anytime you're removing a lot of uh, of junk, you know, and changing your diet and just you know, taking out things, like taking out gluten, taking out dairy, um, though you get all kinds of, um, of reactions, you know, but if, if you're, um, if you're getting feedback from your body, like dizziness or nausea or, um, you know, weakness, anything like that, or you can't concentrate, I think that that is, what you want to listen to. You don't want to listen to me or anyone else. You want to listen to your body. And if your body's saying, this is too much, I would, I would just have to listen to your body and, and scale it back a bit. And, um, yeah, it's just like anytime you're trying to cut out sugar, if you need to add back sweet potatoes, add those sweet potatoes back. Don't, don't try and force anything too much. That's, that's my, uh, my idea. Okay. Mm. All right. Just a second here while I do another refresh of our system. I think our chat is uh, just about over, actually. So let me take a look and see. Yeah, I think um, actually that's about it. So unless there are any other questions, I'm going to be saying goodbye for now. I hope that um, anything that was on your mind has has been brought out to us. I don't see any more. Okay. Mm. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, Lori, I'm a nighttime queen. Oh, it's hard for me to let things go, which means I lose a lot of sleep. Ah, uh, yeah. So it, you're trying to, basically you're burning the candle at both ends then. So you're working in the evening and you're still trying to get everything done during the day, if I'm, un, if I'm interpreting what you're saying correctly. So yeah, the more that you can get other people to help, um, the better it's going to be. I know that that's really the biggest challenge of all, but studies have shown that kids who do chores are more likely to be successful. Um, studies have shown that when couples share the housework, that they're more likely to have a happy and long, long-term long marriage and actually even a better sex life. So um, those are great reasons why kids should do chores and partners should help out with things around the house. If the stuff that you're having trouble letting go is your own stuff, um, I highly recommend looking into something like emotional freedom techniques or tapping. It's a great way to change your mind-body connection and any kind of um, judgments that you're making about yourself. So if you're having a hard time loving and completely accepting yourself when you're not getting to things you think are your job, um, maybe instead of burning yourself out, you know, maybe you can just uh, shift the way that you're thinking about those things that you have to do. Um, and if you really have to get them done, maybe you should take a look at some, you know, personal development, like time management type uh, of work that you can do because there's, there's lots of great ways that you can just become more productive as well. So I hope that helps. Um, you know, uh, you are probably already a super person and I hope that you know that. Um, and, and you're already fabulous and, and you don't need to do it all to, to, to love yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. So thanks so much, everybody. Um, thanks for all your comments, for your questions. I was really happy to be here with you. Um, it's really great to interact with you and get to know some of what's on your mind. So uh, have an incredible rest of your day and enjoy your fluorescence cleanse. Feel good and uh, come back and comment here later to let us know how it went for you and how you're feeling now. So um, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.